So it's eight forty two in the morning. Laid back down and took a nap for a couple hours, much needed. And unfortunately I'm being reminded why I don't like to camp on the weekend. <laughs> Just so much noise. I hate to, I don't know, I'm not complaining, but kind of. I just prefer to be outdoors alone instead of surrounded by people and children riding their bicycles and people's dogs barking and cars driving by. It's just not my idea of going out into nature. But whatever. <laughs> Hopefully Toadstool. Hopefully there's no one camping there, but like I said, it's the weekend, so going to tear down camp and eat some food and go do something. The last time I was here, only like I was only here for like a few hours, so I'll definitely do a little bit more exploring today. So should be fun. Here we go. up camp we are going to mosey on around the park a little bit and find a place to hike I think or play disc golf I'm not sure we'll see what happens oh by the way Todd sucks at camping <laughs> fucking up tents oh <laughs> uh, so if anyone has any tips or tricks on how to get your dog comfortable camping, please let us know because Todd was not happy in the tent last night. <coughs> he kind of <coughs> chewed it up a little bit and he just, I don't know, he just didn't really want to sleep in the tent. It was weird. So people who do sleep with dogs in tents, hit me up. Give me some tips. That'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> Boat loop trail, I think is what it's called, and definitely a lot more grown in than the last time I was here. Lots of nice green vegetation, the grass has grown up, I'm just surrounded by a bunch of ponderosa pines. Very cloudy, which is nice, keeping it cool. The last time I was here, I saw like eight deer on this trail, so maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some out here it doesn't i doubt it but who knows we'll see okay, so we just reached the peak of the steamboat trail and i'm going to show you guys the view here up at the top it's pretty sweet. We just finished the Steamboat Trail. I like that trail. It's the second time I've hiked it. It's it's pretty short. I don't know. What do you say? What do you think, Kyle? That's like maybe a mile, mile and a half. Yeah, mile, mile and a half, maybe. Short hike, good payoff. That view that I showed you guys is right up there on that peak. Um, so yeah, just kind of 
trails you up and then you come around and come back and then up that peak and then down that ridge and then back and there's a picnic table area here and vault toilets so yeah it's pretty legit i like this park a lot actually i wish it were closer to home that would be nice but whatever okay so we're back at the black hills overlook trail that i was here this morning um so i'm not gonna bring you guys along this time i'm just gonna try to maybe get some shots of some birds and see what happens and if i get any i'll throw them up I just really wanted to show Kyle this trail because it's really cool. Um, definitely, if you come here, if you're in the area, this trail is amazing and well worth the stop. So, yeah. We came back down to, I don't know what you call it, like the entryway type area of the park. And there's a disc golf course down here, so we're going to check that out. And we are looking for this step garden, which looks like it's over here. I'm gonna go see what that's about real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna probably do a lot of B-roll of us playing some disc golf, so that should be fun. <laughs> is when the cottonwood trees start shedding and it just blows and it's in the sunlight. Magical. We just finished up with that round of disc golf. Pretty fun, good course. Um, they do a good job about using their available space and making it challenging. Uh, we're gonna head up to Shadron right now. Uh, it's just a few miles north of here, not too far and go get some food. Potentially barbecue, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we just got to this park in Shadra, Nebraska to sit down and eat some barbecue takeout from EJ's, EJ's barbecue and takeout. Um, looks good, smells good. I'm starving. finished lunch um, we're about to get back on the road my honest opinion EJ's pretty good actually good flavor um, good meat like good kind of unique sandwich um, I would probably say like a six out of ten just because I've had barbecue sauce or not barbecue I've had barbecue in like Kansas City and st. Louis and those are just phenomenal this was this was good though but if I'm just comparing it to a whole market I would say probably like a six out of ten uh, but good yeah if you're ever in Sa Shadron Nebraska check out EJ's barbecue and takeout it's good for sure oh. 